How are you guys doing? Welcome to another video. And Pokemon is a product of Mr. Satan. Yes, it is. It is a product from hell. And we are going to discover now. Without any further ado, let's go. Something new that's come over to the United States oh. and has actually captured the minds and the imagination of every single child. Okay, so this is when Pokemon started. And it stands for Pocket Monster. And it even made the cover of Time Magazine. Now, the first thing I... Oh, this age. I remember this. I, re I was there. It was very nice. It was very nice. I want you to notice is, do you notice any symbol up there that you've seen before? The spiral. Oh. Oh, oh. Here we go. It's starting already. And it stands for what? Male fertility. Okay. Oh. Now, this thing is actually called Polyworld, but they actually had another name for it before they renamed it. When this creature first came out, it was called Hypno. And they changed it to Polyworld to make it a little more innocent. But you see what it actually does is it's supposed to be able to mesmerize and hypnotize its enemies. Right. And you can see how that would happen. That starts spinning around and it's just like one of those hyp hypnotic wheels that, that they use to hypnotize. Mm -hmm. And you see up here in the top, Here's a creature, an alligator type creature over here. Dra Wait, okay, 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 but what, what is the conclusion? Is that like the male fertility, it's supposed to be hypnotic? Interesting character over here. Oh. This character over here is called Mewtwo. Right. And Mewtwo looks like an alien. If you look at him real carefully, he looks like an alien. But you I wonder why. You no, know, the first thing that I noticed about that thing is, when I looked at it, and I looked at those eyes, I said, you know what? That kind of looks like the things that we used to pray to inside that circle. What? What? Now you notice that he has a particular salute that he's given. And he's in this pose. Every time that you see Mewtwo, he's in this pose. He never changed that stance. He's always like, like this guy here. Every time that you see Darth Vader, it's always like choking someone. <laughs> now he has three fingers. Right. And those three fingers are always sticking out like that. Mm -hmm. Now, he doesn't seniors. have five fingers like we do. Mm -hmm. He has three. Because it's not a but human. But if they were the three, on us, they'd be this. <laughs> Mewtwo is a metalhead! And that doesn't mean hook em horns. Doesn't mean I love you. Doesn't mean one more. It means hail Satan. Hail Anchor Stan. Here's one of the characters, but the one thing I noticed about him right off, this is Pikachu. One of the things I noticed about him right off was his tail. It's a lightning bolt. Right. And it's a satanic Z. It even oh. comes down here to a point. <laughs> Pikachu's S is a satanic. We've already established that the same company that puts out that game and puts out Dungeons and Dragons puts out cute little Pokemon. Wow. Now, before we go any further, I want to see that if we as a group can agree on something. So I need little audience participation here to say yes or no. Okay? We are you into that? Yeah. Okay. Listen to me carefully. If we examine the characters of this particular program, and they are the kind of role models that we want our kids to be watching. In other words, if, if this whole game the characters of this game, the monsters, this whole premise of this thing actually goes to establish the kind of values, the kind of standards, and the kind of morals that we want our kids to have when they reach adulthood. Yeah, because Pokemon just, just teaches bad things like friendship, like fighting for your things, like perseverance, like it's just a lot of things that are like bad for children. It's okay. In other words, if they actually help to establish the kind of morals, values, and standards that we want our children or our grandchildren to have when they get to be an adult, that it must be all right. Can we agree on that? Yes. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to examine and see what kind of role models we have in this game. Here is the Pokemon ball. Okay. That's this thing here. Oh, he's going to talk about the Pokemon ball. Okay. And inside of that, you catch the Pokemon. Let the camera get a view of that. I can't! The way that he's doing He's like holding the thing here. Look at that, look at that. He's all like, careful. Check it out, check it out. It's so cool, guys. If I open this, that is actually a creature. It's so cool. That's the Pokemon ball. And you actually catch the monster inside of that thing and harness the power in there. Harness the power. 
Now, we're told that there are 150 species of these particular creatures on the face of the Earth. Oh, yeah, back in the day, where there were only 150 species. They can evolve and grow in bigger and better creatures. Right. Now, the object of this game is got to catch them all. Right. And they tell you that if you catch them all, you become a Pokemon master. Where is the satanic link here? Parents, that word master will appeal to any child. And they always find something. It is insane. How can they always find something tiny, just one word, and they just go like, this is going to be the ruin of your child. This here. Because they can become a somebody. They can become a master. And you know what? If you're the master of something, you don't need mom, you don't need dad, you don't need grandparents, you don't need aunts and uncles, you don't need school, and you probably don't even need a church. <laughs> I just can't. I just, that's too much for my brain to absorb. You probably can be yourself. Wow. I wonder what he would say about him and the master of the universe. That, that's beyond, that's beyond everything. And you know, every time that your children watch this program, whether it's a video, whether it's a cartoon, whether it's a comic book, no matter what it is, they hear this mantra, this rap song that's played over again. And it says, I will travel across the land searching far and wide, each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. And then it's enchanted to them. Gotta catch them all, over and over and over and over again. It's Pokemon to understand power that's inside Pokemon gotta catch them all And you know what it does? It fuels your child's craving for more cards, more books, more videos, more movies. More power! Don't forget the power! We all want power! I just wondered, this dude, if he was like watching this video right now, he would just look at me like with my ring, with my shirt, written Memento Mori, and with my shorts, there is written Bruto, and there's an angel with a gun. He would be like, this guy was into Pokemon. Here's the next character. This is Misty. Look at this. Now this is off of a comic book. This is actually a page of a comic book. But if this was clear, if this was actually clear, you'd see that that's a halter top. It stops right there. And she's got short shorts on. And you know she's got to be about the same age as what Ash is. Right. Okay? And she's described as Ash's companion. And listen to what it says about her. She's headstrong and stubborn, constantly arguing with Ash. Typical woman. Misogynic. Just kidding. <laughs> God forgive me. All right. <laughs> Like, for him, that was the highest point on his career. Nowadays, he just got like, oh, you remember when I told that joke about women? Oh. And then there are two characters, and one's called Jesse, and the other one's called James. Jesse and James are stuck up, fashion conscious, and you know what? In the program, they're also prone to cross-dressing. Wow! That's so wrong! Wow! That's the end of the times! Okay, so let's examine what we got. Let's see. Uh, headstrong, stubborn, quibbling, self-centered, vindictive, obnoxious, hormonal, sexually preoccupied, evil, thieving, cross-dressing jerks. Wow! Save me from that! But something very unusual is also in this book, and that is that they actually show the energy balls that, that is used to make these monsters bigger and better. I want you to see them. Look at the yellow. What do you see? The Z of Satan! Lightning bolt. Look here. All seeing eye. It's all seeing eyes. Everybody see that? Up here is the clenched fist. Symbol for rebellion, anarchy. Right down here is a powerful witchcraft symbol where my finger is. Powerful witchcraft symbol, and it's a symbol for fire. It's super powerful. It's like so witchcraft that even like cavemen would use those. Down here is another powerful witchcraft symbol. Actually a new age symbol. They call a new age symbol for earth. So it's, oh my god, it's so occult. And water transforms into wind. Earth, wind, and fire, the three basic elements of all witchcraft. Do you think they put that in there by coincidence? Do you no. think they just built this game, put these on there, and said, hey, let's just put those symbols on there. They look cool. Kids won't know what they are, but they'll like them because they look cool.
No, no, no. They think about it. They think about it. It's all, all like witchcraft and Satanism and, and Beelzebub and Azazel and, and Baphomet and, and who else? There is a devised plan going on for the battle of our children's minds. There's a war going on right now for the children because Satan wants them really bad. <laughs> I just can't. Such a mindset that is like, it's just trying to create problems over things. And it's so, so closed. It's like such an ancient mindset that I just get like, I left. Who better to serve the Antichrist than the youth? And the whole object is to catch them while they're young. Remember the old kid, remember the, the Pokemon motto? Gotta catch them all. Who do you think feels that way? It's the enemy. Talking to a child when he's into this game, it's impossible. They spend more time on this Pokemon. And you know what? It's amazing that your child can tell you every Pokemon in existence, even tell you where they get their power, what they do, and how they do it, but they can't tell you what you told them five minutes ago. Because you are boring! And Pokemon is cool. Look at this. Imagine having this dude as a father. Ooh. Pokemon psychic surprise yeah my favorite type of pokemon the ghost pokemon i still have this one here yeah i have the figure of satan here <laughs> this creature right here is called haunter no no that's ginger my friend and i talked to three kids in three different cities who actually came up and told me that they were having bad dreams and that creature was in their dreams right up here is a creature that's not quite so cute now this over here is not quite so cute how is that not quite cute that's so cute. He's literally a ball with eyes and a smile. Gasly is so, so cute. And what made that even more evident was two cards. One was called Abra, and the other called is, card, is called Kadabra. Wow! The Abra card, it says, using its ability to read minds, it will identify impending danger and teleport the user to safety. Now show Abra, please. Please show it so we can see how evil Abra is. The Kadabra character has a pentagram on his forehead. And he has SSS across his chest. S -S -S. And it is the satanic SSS. And in my particular sect of Satanism, we didn't have it, but I ran into other groups that did. They had tattoos on the inside of their wrist over their breasts or on the inside of their thigh, and it was that same SSS. You know what it stands for? Satan's Solemn Servant. Wow, soldiers of Satan. And again, I have to ask you, do you think that's on there by coincidence? Do you think they just made this game and said, hey, let's just throw that in there because it looks good. They want our children to be brainwash able to look at that. And actually at one day now, while they're identifying with their favorite Pokemon, reach up and go, Hail Pokemon! What? And what are they actually hailing? Satan. <laughs> Satan. Our kids are carrying around these cards like they're magic symbols. And they are taught to believe that they can call on the powers of these cards anytime they want to. Oh no, do they, they actually have power. It's the witchcraft power. The Satan power. It's on your kids. It is too late already. <laughs> Boy attacks teacher over Pokemon. And you know what he told his father? They were trying to steal my powers. My powers. No, don't steal my powers. No. And these cards cost anywhere from $7 to $9 per single pack. Wait, is that not $6.66? I'm actually surprised. And there are report after report of children going into their parents' pocketbook and stealing money to go out and buy these cards. What is the purpose? I mean, with parents like you guys, I'm not surprised that this is happening because imagine having these guys as parents. Conservative as fuck, old mind, old minded. <sighs> and I sure don't see it as something that's going to help get the child established in the ways of the Lord. Okay. This is totally the opposite. Remember that the whole goal in all of these role-playing games, and especially in Pokemon, is to become the master. 
Okay, okay. Before we end this video, let me just make one thing very clear here. I respect all religions, all of them. If you're following something that you believe that makes you a better person and makes you make the world a little bit better with positive things and love, I fully support. But humans, don't try to make a problem out of everything and use religion with as an excuse or as a, like a the base for that okay just just please don't well that's all for today hope you guys enjoyed the video this trip to hell pokemon snap is just taking pictures of demons see you guys next video last but not least don't forget to drink your coffee and cast your out of here you go bye Almost died.